Warning, the video you are about to watch contains spoilers of a geocache in a highly popular geocaching destination. Viewer discretion is advised. I drive more than 700 miles to come here to Gilby, North Dakota to find all the great geocaches here in the Disneyland of geocaching. This has become a gadget cache mecca built by Tricasius. He's got some great gadget caches out here, some of the best ones in the world. The cache I'm about to show you was put out for the Gilby Gone Wild event that was held in September of 2021. A new gadget cache that nobody has seen on YouTube yet. So without further ado, hey, let's get to it. A worn path takes us to ground zero just a few feet away. Oh, and I see it right there. There it is, hanging in the tree. Oh, there it is. We got two old Sobos with us here. We're gonna grab it and help, we're gonna help find it. That's what we're gonna do, helpers. Got in here. It looks like a maze. Oh no. Yeah, and it's got a ball bearing mm -hmm. and a lock. And a lock with a combination. All right, what do we got here? We got a geocache. It looks like a maze and there's a timer here, perhaps. A combination lock. That's our ultimate goal right there, I believe. Along the maze, we have different tags that have geocache names that are here in Gilby scattered throughout. I wonder what that means. Hmm. All right, well, I think we gotta move that ball around. And, okay. We stopped here at one of the stickers, and this partially lights up. Partially, I'm, I'm not sure why. Maybe that's part of the lock combination, I'm not sure. Let's, let's go to another sticker. Definitely different uh, numbers there. Okay, all right. I think we need to start taking notes here. I'm ready. All right, we got some numbers here that we've gotten off of the uh, stickers and the ball. I don't know, it kind of looks like numbers here. We're gonna try them out and see what happens. Yes, yes, that was awesome. I've never found a cache quite like this before. What a great one. Definitely worth a favorite point, that's for sure. All right, what do we got inside here? We got uh, oh, Tasmanian Devil, blah, blah, blah. Mario, a dump truck, and we got some stickers for the kids. And a trading card from the Fargo Moorhead Geotour. Two old Sobos, Hailmeister. All right, awesome. I like the idea of rolling the marble around and, and uh, revealing parts of the code as you do that. It's really cool. Yeah. Haven't seen anything quite like that before. So. You, had to, you had to do another thing with the paper, connect the dots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, having a piece of paper was definitely handy on this one. There's more videos here on the side. Check those out as well, too. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see some more. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister.